Hello, let's turn our Makey Bit into a Dragon Rider by Cecilia Hillway. Here's what you'll need. You need a Makey Bit mobile kit, which comes with the buggy and the remote control. You're gonna need cutting tools, whichever one you are comfortable with, a glue stick, a sharpie, maybe not that big, but you know. Uh, that connection will help me make f uh, the LEDs uh, into two connections, I'll show you later. They're a female to male cords. On the Maker Shed website, you'll find some templates you can print. You can use a hot glue gun and a piece of cardboard. Um, if you don't have hot glue gun, it's fine. This is a hole puncher, will, which will make cutting the ice easier, but it's not entirely necessary. Anyway, if, once you have the templates, uh, you'll see you have five different ones for the left side. You have the top of the dragon, you have the right side, you have the tail and the head. Let's start by cutting all the outlines. And if there's any white, cut those out too. And I'll show you how to put it together. So this is like a sped up version and we have the cut out pieces. Um, I will first begin to, uh, to use the, the, what I call the booster seat, which is the white template here. And I'll show you what I mean by the booster seat. The, uh, we need to trace it onto the cardboard. Make sure it's against the grain of the cardboard, that'll make it stronger. So here I am tracing it and th these pieces, it's two of them. And uh, now I'm going to cut them because we'll see what, what I mean by booster seat in a second. So now we have the pieces and we will line them up in the middle. They're slightly shorter than the hole, the, the small pieces. And that's when I'm going to be using the hot glue gun. Okay, so now that it's dead, I'm going to use the gigantic Sharpie to color black. That's just a personal preference. It's just, it just looks better in videos. But I'll show you what I mean about the booster seat. So you have your buggy. I'm removing the Makey bit and I'm inserting the booster seat. The pieces of cardboard that we glued will make it so they stay put. And now you can put the Makey bit on top and it'll be higher. So there you have it. So let's get to building the, the template. So at the top, you'll see that it has the lines. Those will make some tabs. So I'm just cutting each line. Once the tabs are cut, you'll notice the dotted line. That means there's a fold. All the folds are in the same direction, except a couple of uh, exceptions. So I'm folding it. That line will be important later. Um, and here's the side. Those lines need to be cut because we're going to ins insert the legs onto that later. So I'm going to cut them. It's easier to cut them before you glue them. So once you have that, we're going to use the glue stick to glue it. But first we should add the wings first, uh, upside down, because that'll make them stronger. So I put them towards the front. I'm lining up the, the lines in the back of both templates. It's a little hard to uh, see. And then you have to be pressing down as you use the glue stick. That'll make it stay better. There are other uh, adhesives that you could be using. Uh, this is my preference. I'm doing the next side. Remember to cut the lines as I did. And I'm putting it slowly because it has the nice curb. That's why it has so many tabs so it can follow the curb. We'll have uh, add the legs. The legs, you're, I forgot to cut the toes. You see this fold is the only different direction that I have. They go through the slits that you cut and you glue them to keep them in place. Mm -hmm. Once you have that done, let's work on the tail. The tail also has tabs to, that you have to cut and then you'll fold just like the spine of the dragon. I like 
two, 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 two. They're cut. Now I'm folding each. Once they're folded, I line up the pieces, starting with the tip. The curve goes up, so that helps you know which side is which. You line it again carefully on the tip, and then once you have that, let's add the pieces we have to the buggy. You have to get the custom through the booster seat and get it under the tires. The, uh, the legs will cover the tires so you can see them. Now I'm gluing the tail. You're lining up the, the lines that are on the top and the sides with the edges of the tail. So once you have the tail, doo -doo 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 -doo. once everything is in place, I'm going to move that aside and work on the head. So the head is again, you fold all the little pieces. The pieces by the snout, you'll see that they have the tabs that also need to be cut, folding all the dotted lines. The top of the snout is the only one that folds differently. I'm gluing everything bit by bit. Be very gentle and patient with this. This is the hardest part, especially the round of the snout. So once you have that, you slowly put it together. Line it up in the back. Oh, I forgot to cut the eyes out. So I'm going to use the hole puncher. I recommend you do that before you start folding. This is do as I say, no, not as I do, <laughs> kind of thing. This hole puncher is exactly five millimeters, so it works perfect for the eyes. So now that I have the eyes cut, I'm gonna finish gluing that. And now it's time to add the Mickey bits. So I'm gonna connect it. The left uh, servo goes in the bottom left with the orange pointing left. The right servo goes on top of that, again with the uh, orange pointing left. If you want to dress up your Makey bit, there's templates on the website available that you can use to give your characters uh, some costumes. These are inspired by Game of Thrones. So I'm putting it in, making sure everything is nice and tight. To connect the LEDs, we're going to do them on the back. I want them in P9 and ground. So P9 is the one right next to the top servo. And I'm going to connect the LEDs to my female to male cords. Now make sure you keep track of which is the positive and which is the negative on the LEDs and put them nice and tight. Again, keep track of which one is the positive and the negative. The long leg is a positive. So what this does, this little gizmo is going to let me connect both positives and both negatives into one. And that way I'm only going to use one pin. Now that's not strictly necessary. You can just do whatever you want. Uh, it's just ground. There's not a lot of grounds uh, in the back of the Makey bit. This is why I did this. So again, P9 and ground. P9 is right next to the servo and the ground is all the way to the right and the top. Once I have that, I'm going to spruce up the little head and the eyes of the dragon go through the holes. Now, this is a little tricky. You might want to add tape to keep them in place because they, they will move later. Okay, so now I have them. I'm gonna just glue the top of the head to keep it in place. You can spruce it up. I'm taping some of the cords so they don't drag. Could have gone through the holes, but this is how I'm doing it. Okay, so now, you know, just, you can add something to make the wings a little stiffer, but it really doesn't matter. For the code, we're gonna download from makeyourshed.make.co, the Makeybit mobile downloads. You have the, the make code files. This will make coding easy because we just replace some things. I'm gonna change the honk to eyes. I'm gonna just change the, the little icon just because. Then you download it to your remote control and go back to the website to get the other code. Now I'm doing the pit crew, which is the servo itself, the servo car. Um, 
this uh, will replace again the honk with the eyes and get rid of the sound because I don't want the sound. The code itself it, it has all the pieces we need. We have the eyes of the Makey bit. We have the set group, which should match the other code you had. I'm going to go to pins, digital, digital right pin. I'm going to change that to P9. At the beginning it's zero, which is off. Then I'm duplicating that. So when it receives eyes, it goes to one, which is on. So that means you press the button, it turns on the eyes. Um, this strip show color, you can change the color of the eyes of the Makey bit. So let's say, for example, if I wanted this to be the Night King, I could make like a skull kind of looking thing and make his eyes blue and everything else we leave the same because that'll make our lives easier. Download it to the Makey bit and we're ready to fly. Here they are in action. Um, you can control them both with one remote or have one dragon on one remote and then ra it race them or have little fights or choreograph dancing. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy. The website will have these templates and blank ones that you can color yourself. Bye.